All right, today we have possibly the most outrageous aerodynamic claim I think I've ever seen in my whole entire life. Um, this new helmet could save you nine seconds over one kilometer, which is just quite frankly ridiculous. Um, so anyway, well, this is the helmet. Number one, looks stupid. Um, but anyway, some people like wearing stupid helmets because it makes them go nine seconds quicker. Um, I think, okay, well, before I even get into the claim, number one, there was a very good article, which, uh, sorry, interview with Luke Durbridge, and he was saying, and everyone else always says, the reason you should do aero testing is because different equipment is fast from different people. So how could you possibly, and I think this is, goes for a lot of aerodynamic claims, how could you possibly have something, especially with clothing, that it's guaranteed to save you seven watts? That's probably on one, per, like, okay, but anyway. So let's say this helmet saves you seven watts, okay, which, to be honest, isn't that crazy a claim. Seven watts at 60 k's an hour, more or less, 58.68. Okay, fine. I, I could under, I could believe that that could be true on a particular person, the most extreme person, maybe a Boku has an absolute monstrous head, the head of the size of a planet, I don't know. But anyway, let, let's say it does save us. I'm then very confused how they managed to get that you're saving seven watts and this somehow adds up to nine seconds. 0.9 seconds, potentially. But how could it possibly be nine seconds? If you're doing 58.68 kilometers, you're doing the kilometer in a little over a minute, maybe a minute and two seconds, minute three seconds. So how could it save you nine seconds? You'd then suddenly be doing like 65 kilometers an hour or something ridiculous, like well over 60 k's an hour. So it's just a stupid claim. But anyway, we can get in some maths. How accurate this thing is, I genuinely don't know. But anyway, so I, I put in, you know, 75 kilo sprinter, more or less, bike weight, tube, tubulars, drops, flat sprint. Imagine Champs-Élysées style. Okay, not Champs-Élysées because there's cobbles. Okay, imagine, you know, just a perfect flat sprint. Imagine it's like Dubai, classic flat sprint. Uh, no, no wind or anything. Um, and anyway, so you do you do 866 watts to do 58.7 k's an hour. That seems about right. You know, maybe a little bit um, higher, just because it doesn't think you're in a bunch. When you're in a bunch, you tend to be able to go faster. Right. So now let's say, okay, so this is one kilometer, right? Now let's say though this is 1.02 minutes, right? Let's now say that it saves seven seconds. So now we're going to go from one, uh, actually, I'm not even going to try and do the maths of that. It's going to be too complicated. Uh, but we'll, let's say, save seven, okay, we'll do seven watts first. So it's now going to be, instead of being doing 866, it's going to be equivalent of 873. Uh, right, okay. No, it doesn't work. Wait, what? This is very odd. You what? 873. Okay, 58.83 kilometers an hour. So that is a grand total of 0.3, no, 0.12 kilometers an hour faster. That's not, not quite what they say, and then you'd still do it in 1.02 minutes. So let's try and get it below one minute. So how many watts would we have to do? So we start off with 866. Let's see if you did 900 watts. Oh, no, 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 see, 950 watts. Oh, that that's more like it. So you don't, it's basically saying that you could gain, like, <sighs> over a hundred watts on a helmet. So you don't quite understand this statistic. I think they must have it wrong. I couldn't actually find it on the Cycling News website anymore. Um, like I had to find a link when I was reading it earlier to make the video on it. It's also $450, which is stupid. But yeah, this bloke, is ha yeah, he's used exactly the same thing. I need 766. Yeah, yeah, it's done. Just like that bloke has done exactly what I did. Um, and yeah, he's even used the same bike calculator thing as me. So yeah, that that's it. Don't believe aero claims. Um, they seem rubbish. Go to wind tunnel, then you'll find out. And as wind tunnels always say, aerodynamic is very special. It's all about yourself. But then when they're trying to sell a product, oh, it will be faster for everyone. It's like, well, that's not true. There's like one or the other. It's faster for everyone. Maybe that's true on wheels potentially because they're less to do with the body. But even then, I still think wheels would be, you'd be able to get fast wheels and slower wheels um, depending on the person. Um, but yeah, anything clothing for, for sure, like, it's going to be faster on some people than other people. Um, just like your head size, how your head fits on. You've got a really long neck, really short neck, you know, just things like that. There's just so many variables. Um, but anyway, I think Laser definitely wins it already in 2019, 14th of January. I reckon this has to be the stupidest aero claim I think I've ever seen. Probably for the year. I I'll give it to them. No claim. Anyway, cheers for watching and um, I'll see you in the next one.